we have had a complete disaster whilst plugged in at this campsite. But luckily we've already cooked, so we don't have to worry about using the hob. True. These are helping. Oh, I've done it. What did you do? They might need a new set of double A's, but we can see what we're doing tonight. Oh, this looks lovely. Well done, sausage. I knew you could fix it. So we finish getting ready for bed and watch some TV and fix it tomorrow? Oh, we can't. Have you got your USB down here? Yeah. No. Over there somewhere. If we can plug in this, we might have lights. Hey, look how pretty everything looks. Okay, so just to get everything clear in my head, our fridge is slowly defrosting with all of the food that we've just bought from Lidl in it. We have no way to cook that food because we have no power with which to cook it. And we have no lights and no way to charge any of our phones. Is that about summarize the situation? And we have no water because the pumps don't work. So you're gonna have to wait for that cup of tea. I thought you were supposed to have been a good electrician. You'd <laughs> you had done too good a job on this van. <laughs> So how are we going to survive in this fully electrical dependent camper van without any power? I managed to spill wax everywhere. Yeah, could you let me know how much it will be? 37.90. How much? I've just booked us a really, really nice campsite on the shores of Lake Como, which is apparently a really fancy area. Lots of famous people live there, so I don't know who we'll see. So what are we getting for our 40 pounds? Four amp or six amp electricity. I don't even know what that means. So the standard is 16 amps, and they're selling us a quarter of that. When we first stepped out and laid eyes on Lake Como, we realised why it has such a reputation. It's incredibly beautiful and well worth a visit, but we were not prepared for what would happen later on that evening. Oh. What was that noise? What did you do? I just turned the inverter off whilst it was charging. Is that bad? Didn't sound good. Let me just check it. As you can probably see from the background behind me, we have had some slight problems with our electricity. So we have invested in a camping stove so that we can at least eat for the remainder of this trip. But yeah, we are gonna to have to go and fix this. We have lost all power now. My beloved Victron Multi Plus 2 has died on us. This inverter is only about a year old, maybe a year and a half. What happened is we were plugged in at a campsite and it was only six amps that it lets you charge at, so about a thousand watts. And when it got to 90% and we were ready for bed, I turned it off. But I turned it off here instead of here. So I disconnected it whilst it was on and whilst it was charging. It just made a big power down noise and it hasn't turned on since. I've tried all the fuses. We get no lights, nothing. So the inverter is completely dead. We use it for the hob, for the kettle, for the Ninja Foodie and we have no way of cooking now. We're gonna to need to get this fixed and we've still got two months left of our trip. So I don't know what we're gonna do for electricity. I contacted Victron customer support last night, but it looks like I won't get a call back until Monday and it's currently Saturday morning. So that means we need to go the whole weekend without any power. Turn the engine on for a bit. That's great. 
but it doesn't have any power. All right, let's turn the van on. Sorry. So we've decided to head to a campsite with electrical hookup. It's only two or three spots at this campsite, but we need the electricity just so we can export the video. We've got an hour drive to get there, so that's the next stop. I'm confused. So if we plug into electrical hookup, we don't need the inverter? No, we still need the inverter because the way that we wired it up is the incoming power goes directly into the inverter. And because our inverter isn't working, we have no way of getting that power to our plugs. So the only way I can fix this is by making what's called a side plug. This is when you've got two male plug sockets on either end of the wire. So you've got exposed parts and if you were to touch it, you'll probably die. So they are only for emergencies like now, but it's the only way we can get power into the van. I posted a thread on the Victron community forum saying that the MultiPlus had died. Oh, flies. Go, for the love of God, you're gonna kill us. And our guy Paulie B has replied saying that it's a known bug with our exact firmware. So he says, if we update the firmware, we should get our power back. I found a way of doing it through the Victron app and I'm about to hit update device. I understand the risks. The thing's dead, so I'm risking it. But I don't understand how it can put that update onto a machine that's off. I don't know to GX device. It just is stuck on zero. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Let's see if we get on the ferry. Yeah. You haven't got a ticket? He didn't give us a ticket. Uh, you have to go back in the office. OK? Or let we have time? Uh, if you go quickly, yeah. We did not make the ferry. Luckily, we got on the next one for free, so that worked out OK. We drove all the way from Italy to get this one wire. Let's hope it works. The guy on the Victron forum said that I need this device and then we can flash update the firmware on the MultiPlus. Cost us 60 pounds, so we better be right. I'm happy to lose 60 pounds on this than to lose 2,000 pounds on that. True. Come on, dongle. I don't see how it's going to work. Cannot connect. Of course it's not going to work. It hasn't got power. We are 2615 and we're for version 490. So we want 2615505. And let's see if we can update something that's turned off. Switch off the device. Oh, I saw a spark. Uh-oh. Switch on device. What? Oh, oh. Something's changed. Make sure it's connected. Can't connect. We might have to ring Victron. Oh, MultiPlus. I don't believe this is going to work. Did that say warning and to be carried out by a trained professional? Yay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh my god. It worked. No way. What? I don't understand. What don't you understand? Everything. Firstly, I did not think that would connect to something that's turned off. Should we test it? Yeah. I'm just nervous to press anything. Have faith in Victron. You love Victron. I feel like anything I take out is going to turn it off. Look. Inverter on. I still don't believe that it's working. Let's... Well, I mean, it's on. It says inverter on. I feel like it's going to blow up or something's wrong. Why? Because it was dead. Like, it's like... It feels like it. But it wasn't dead. The guy said that the problem was that the software had a bug. So you've updated the software. So now you don't need to be afraid. All right, let's turn some things on. I didn't hear this noise that I'm used to hearing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Well, that was an absolute waste of time, but at least now we have power. We've taken a little 500 kilometer detour to go home, but we're going to try it again and head back to Europe. Let's go.